All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a carburetor comparison video where I show you how these two carburetors, an Edelbrock VRS 4150 and a 750 CFM Race Demon, how they performed on the dyno on my 351 Windsor. And if you've seen my last video, then you probably don't need to watch this one because it's going to be a condensed version where I focus specifically on the performance of these carburetors on my 351 on the dyno. And this is a, an Edelbrock VRS 4150, still relatively new to the market. And this is an 750 CFM race demon uh, that I did a video on last year where I purchased it used and it was set up to run methanol and I converted it to run on gasoline. So we're going to see how this carburetor compared to the 750 CFM VRS 4150. Both carburetors were run on this TrickFlow R-Series single plane with a one inch spacer and I'll put the motor specs up on the screen and this demon carburetor so this is about a 20 year old carburetor that was a, a Barry Grant demon carburetor so that's prior to Holly purchasing demon carburetors and at the time these carburetors were well regarded performance wise uh, they did have some manufacturing issues that kind of gave them a bad rep but uh if you've seen any Richard Holdner videos, a lot of the data mining he does on old dyno runs, uh, they were made with Demon carburetors, so performance-wise, I think they did pretty well. And we're going to see how these two carburetors stacked up on my 351 Windsor. Uh, they, the motor did make 500 horsepower with one of these carburetors, so stick around and find out. The first carburetor tested was the Demon carburetor. Uh, we made three runs with the Demon. The first run was just a dry run, more or less, so we only took it to 5,500 RPM, and it made about 440 horsepower. I'm not going to show the first run. Uh, it was a little rich, so after the first run, we changed the jets to 71s in the primary and 86s in the secondary. And so we're going to pick it up with the second run, which we ran it up to 6,200 RPM. Here is a plot of the horsepower curve for the second run with the Demon. Horsepower peaked at 480 at around 6200 RPM. We'll follow that up with a plot of horsepower torque and air fuel ratio. The air fuel ratio scale is on the right. I was running 93 octane pump gas, E10 or 10% ethanol, which I think is pretty much the standard in the US these days. And for Wide open throttle dyno pulls, I think you want to be in the 12 and a half to low 13 range for AFR, and uh, it's pretty much where the motor was running. Uh, coming up is the third and final run with a Demon, and the only difference for the third run is that I threw on an air cleaner to see how the motor will perform as it's going to be run in the car uh, with an air cleaner. Here is the horsepower curve for the third run. We did spin the motor a little bit higher to 6,500 RPM and power peaked at 480 at 6,500, which matches the peak of the previous run. It just took a couple extra hundred RPM to get there. And for the most part, power was down throughout the RPM range. And this is due to uh, running the air cleaner, which causes a restriction to airflow, obviously, as well as it caused the air fuel ratio to run leaner and it did um, go closer to 13 higher in the rpm range between 5500 and 6500 uh, and the extra rpm combined with the air fuel ratio uh, decreasing to around 13 did help it match the uh, horsepower output of the previous run at 480. 
So after the third run, I decided to change carburetors from the Demon to the Edelbrock VRS 4150. The Demon seemed to be pretty much maxed out on the third run. Uh, between 6,000 and 6,500 power was pretty much flat, maybe increasing slightly. So on the fourth run, which I'm not going to show here, it was pretty much a test run of the Edelbrock carburetor. It comes with 72 jets front and rear on the 750. And so it was running a little rich on the fourth run. It did make 490 peak horsepower, but for the fifth run, changed jets to 69s in the front and 75 in the rear. And that did produce the best run of the day. So we're gonna pick up with the fifth run right here. And here's the power curve for run number five with the Edelbrock carburetor. Peak power was 503 at 7,100 RPM. And the engine made uh, was, was at 500 horsepower, pretty much flat from 6,500 all the way to 7,000 with a slight bump up at 503 at 7,100. And I didn't want to rev it any more than 7,100. So we didn't get to see the motor really roll over. Uh, I didn't really build the bottom end to rev any more than 7,100 RPM, and the engine made uh, about 20 horsepower more on average with the Edelbrock than it did with a Demon carburetor. And here you can see the air fuel ratio, torque, and horsepower uh, for this run. For the most part, air fuel ratio was in the 12 and a half to 13 range. Um, and I did make one more run with this carburetor and this combination, uh, run number six, which I'm not going to show here. Uh, for run number six, I ran an air cleaner again, and it pretty much knocked horsepower down about 10 horsepower. Peak horsepower was uh, 490 with the air cleaner. And after run number six, I made three additional runs, runs seven through nine, I made with an Edelbrock uh, dual plane RPM air gap. I'm not gonna go into those here because I just ran it with the Edelbrock 4150. Uh, I think it peaked around 480 horsepower with the dual plane, so it actually did pretty well. If you wanna go see the performance with the dual plane, you can watch my last video. So why did the Edelbrock VRS 4150 perform so much better? It added an extra 20 average horsepower and another 500 RPM the Demon was pretty much maxed out by 6,500 RPM and the Edelbrock pulled all the way to 7,000. If you watch the Edelbrock video where their engineers talk about the design of the carburetor, they pretty much explain it and why it performs better than a Holley or in this case in a Demon, which is pretty much like a Holley or maybe a Holley XP. The main difference being that the Venturi is a half inch taller, which adds velocity to the incoming airflow. And additionally, on this carburetor, it has the Edelbrock has annular boosters, which better atomize the fuel. The Demon has down leg boosters, uh, but the neat thing about this Demon, this race Demon, the boosters are threaded, so I could remove the boosters and actually install annular boosters in the Demon, but I don't think that would totally make up for the horsepower and RPM deficit, um, but I probably will try in the future, try to add install annular boosters on the Demon. Uh, but I was pretty much impressed with the Edelbrock, the performance it made out of the box. I only made one jet change and uh, was kind of surprised, maybe not so surprised that it did so much better. Um, actually putting me over 500 horsepower, where I probably wouldn't have made 500 horsepower if I didn't have that carburetor. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching.